Hey, I forgot to touch up on a couple things in my last video, but, um, all right, me, I'm not trying to, and it's not my intention to force, pressure, push anything on anybody, okay, um, I just want us, I'm really just reflecting my experience and my lifestyle and what I've grown to learn. You know, through personal, you know, application and just insight and experience and seeing others go through it and, you know, in this connecting the dots process, you know, and shit that adds up, you know, I share it. And um, that's it. You know, I ain't trying to say I'm better than anybody. I ain't trying to, you know, say I, I ain't going to. I can't be cool with you because you eat fish or you eat meat. I was there before, too. If it wasn't for a few of my homies that, you know, were willing to put that, you know, plant them seeds. And, you know, as I grew and I, I was I was like most of y'all, you know, or most of us where we be like. Man, I ain't trying to hear that shit, man. Whatever. I'm going to call you back. Or, man, I, I got to go handle some business or whatever. Like, I was that person. So, I know where you're coming from. Because it's not the popular thing. It's not, um, you know, it's not convenient. And it's not what we've been programmed to feel is normal to get back to nature. You know, other people ain't on that shit so people don't be relating and you want to be able to relate with your peers so you don't want to be on the you know on a thin road you'd rather be on the wide road because that's where you could get more attention and you can get more company and you can give people more attention but it's like we need to get on this thin road this straight and narrow because it's been neglected and it's the true path. I ain't preaching. I ain't religious. You know, I, I'm just a. I'm just a reminder. That's it. And you don't even got to do what I'm saying. You don't got to. But I'm just saying just really look at it. Not from a biased, a, a, a bigot perspective or whatever. But try to look at it from all angles. In all dimensions, be divergent with it and just see like how much humanity has spiraled down ever since they started, you know, so-called building up the technology with the city streets and all that, tearing these trees down, um, putting these chemtrails all in the sky, feeding us fake ass, genetically modified clone food, making us into Franken humans having us think unhealthy, causing like broken homes and, you know, causing all these, these, these divisions and pacifications like racism and and um religion. And, you know, it's all a mind manipulation thing, all that. I know saying this, it, it really pushes a button and it touches a nerve to most people because we don't be trying to hear it. But I'm just saying we need to really get back in sync like how Burke sense when the storm's coming, they don't need to read no weather forecast because they're already connected to the Internet, not the Internet, but the Internet. They could enter that realm within um, that that source, that data bank that's connected the, to the tree of all, to the tree of life, you know, the source of all, the God within, the energy. And, um, being in tune with nature, cause we all energies, like you could, you could sense it, you could see it, you know, you could peep the signs cause you ain't so, um, brainwashed and, and, and distracted by all the, all the foolishness, all the illusions and mirages and stuff like that. So I'm just saying we need a clean house within and help clean house on the outside. Once we got a clean house on the inside, which is a never ending process, always room for improvement. But, um, and when I speak, I speak to myself too. I'm not perfect. I fall off sometimes to be honest, but you know, I try to get back up and get even more disciplined every time really police myself. It's important. 
You know, we really got to we got to take life seriously. Not saying can't have fun, but you can have a good a good time doing it. Like people the stereotype me being a vegan that I can't eat delicious foods. Shit, man, look at my cooking with con episodes. I'm always satisfied. If it was if it didn't taste good, I wouldn't be, you know, like I'm not saying I still wouldn't eat it, but I mean, I wouldn't be talking about how good it tastes because you got to know how to do it right, man. You got to know how to season it right, do the right herbs and spices and shit, where it's, it's healthy, but it's also um, it's delicious. You know, just like in life, it could be fun, but it's a healthy, positive, um, not toxic way of living. And it could be done, man. We just got to stop. We got to get off of the system's nipple, man. We got to get off the system's titty. Stop holding the hand of, uh, of the matrix and, you know, the the people that's manipulating and, and feeding our, our mind frame of what to think and what to do, what to eat, you know, how, where to go to if we get sick, like how we supposed to do things. We got to break that shit off, man. It's time to break that cycle, man. Real talk, paradigm shift. That's all I'm saying. So, I mean, I love y'all. I really do. And I want to see us get right. And I'm not pressuring nobody. to. I'm not trying to control nobody. When I say I'm a king or I'm a god, I'm a king of my own actions and myself. You know, because I'm self-responsible for what I do. I got to walk in my shoes. I can't walk in nobody else's shoes. And I'm not trying to. Because I'm just focused on my hand on my steering wheel. You know, I don't want nobody hand on my steering wheel but mine. And I ain't trying to touch nobody else's steering wheel either. You know what I'm saying? So, um, but we we could all be ships parallel going in the same direction. But it don't got to be in the direction of crashing into a wall, you know, spiraling down. It could be, we could be climbing up together, you know, as individuals, but collectively as one unit. And, you know... That, that it'll be a harmonious, beautiful thing. Like, we could really shift how things are, you know what I'm saying? Help clean house. Get back to nature. Let's get in sync. Regardless of the ethnicity, man, we all could help uplift each other, man, and, and have higher understanding and, and deeper understanding from empathy and, you know, where we are coming from with it and just help each other out. So, I mean, this unconditional love is a powerful thing, you know, and that's... um. That's what I'm about, man. But I stand for shit. But I'm about unconditional love. So, um, man, there it is. Peace and love. I'm signing out. Cheer!